Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio. Thank you so much for joining me today on this video. You've got yourself a Synology NAS and we're going to be covering how to update the DSM software. So this is the software, the op essentially the operating system that is running. There are updates, security fixes, vulnerability fixes, patches that needs to be installed on your Synology NAS. It's very, very important to do. We're going to be showing you how to install and how to update your Synology NAS. <laughs> Okay, so before we do talk about Synology updates and updating the DSM, I wanna let you know about a full length online training course that I have done specifically for you around the Synology. Start to finish, basic to advanced, how to configure, how to troubleshoot your Synology NAS. It'll be something that you will definitely, definitely find helpful. So check out the show notes, the description below of this video. I've got a link right there directly to that online Synology training course. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna jump onto my computer. I've logged in to the browser you're going to do the same you log into your browser you connect into your Synology NAS you log in with the administrator credentials and we're now going to show you how to install your updates on your Synology NAS so here we are logged into our Synology NAS this is our DSM software now it's very common that Synology itself sends you alerts they send you updates to actually resolve certain things on a Synology NAS could be bugs in the system there could be vulnerabilities things like that that need to get fixed and patched or things have been identified that need to get fixed. There could be feature updates, software updates, firmware updates, things of that nature. And of course, you as an administrator, you as somebody who looks after your Synology NAS, needs to make the call on whether you need to be updating your Synology NAS or not. And most of the time it's pretty good practice because there's been something that's been notified, something that's been alerted to that requires your attention and your update on your Synology NAS. Within here, we're gonna go into the control panel all right, over here, you can also access this by going into the little main menu and accessing the control panel that way. And from the control panel, we're gonna say update and restore. All right, and you'll see that in my case, this is my current DSM version. That's it right there. And you see that it actually has now identified that there is a new version available for me. Now, if your Synology NAS is connected out to the internet, it actually can see the internet, then you can actually get alerts like this to let you know when there's a new version available and then you can just literally download it and then update it directly from there. It just means that your Synology NAS does need to be exposed out to the internet. Now in some instances, in some businesses, in some small, in some corporate companies, you may not want to have your Synology NAS directly exposed or at least not exposed, but be able to access the internet directly. So it could be on an isolated internal network only. And if that's the case, what you do is you do a manual DSM update. All right, you do a manual instead of letting this go itself. So you do a manual, you click on that, and then it will ask you for the file path for that DSM update. So what you need to do is you need to log into the Synology consoles essentially out on the internet, go to Google, go to your, log into your Synology account, and then you download the relevant Synology software, the DSM update for your version of the Synology NAS. Once it's downloaded, you then click on browse and you can navigate to the .pat file and then upload it that way. And that way it's completely offline. All right. In my case, let's just say we've already up, you know, we've selected it. It's on there or we've downloaded it. All right. You can click on that. You can click on now download. My Synology is going directly out to the internet to actually download this particular version. And now that it's ready to go, uh, we can now click on update now. But always remember that by doing this, your Synology NAS components, components, your data, things like that, that are running on that Synology NAS may become unavailable. So you wanna do this at an out of hours window, for example, you wanna do this at a time when you are okay to bring your Synology and your data down. So if you're aware of that, we can now click on update now. Please do not shut down or power off the system while we're doing this. We're, we're okay with that. Yes. And now we let it do its thing. So it's updating DSM on the Synology NAS and it says that this could take about 10 minutes. So we've logged back into our Synology NAS after the update. It actually did do a couple of reboots for myself. So it did bring everything down. Uh, and you can go back into the control panel and into our updates and restore. And you can see right there that it's running the current version and that the status uh, is up to date. So they were the steps. Hopefully you found them helpful. Do what you need to do on the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to also check out some of my other videos around all things tech so that you don't miss out on anything. Thanks so much for spending the time. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time.